Hey everyone, so tonight I'm going to be filming the what's on my iPhone video. I'm going to get right into it. I just kind of wanted to preface a little bit about the phone. Some of the basics, I have the black iPhone 5. I got this about a month ago. I absolutely adore this phone. I was up for the upgrade, went out, got it, paid for it myself, all the other kind of stuff. Not trying to brag. Grateful for everything that I have. So yes, also the case that is on my phone is the Kimberly Mighty Morphin Pink Power Ranger iPhone case. I got this off of Etsy. If you don't know who Kimberly the pink Power Ranger is. You are not a 90s kid, and if you're not, then I just feel really old. But yes, I was convinced that I was Kimberly the Pink Power Ranger back when I was about three years old, so I had to buy this case. But yes, I'm going to show you everything that is on my iPhone. And if you're interested in seeing what kind of apps that I do have, then just keep on watching. So yes, this is my iPhone, and this fine piece of man is my wallpaper. So to start off with what stays constant on my phone, the bottom bar is my phone, mail, safari, and calendar. I've always kept it that way. I'm pretty sure that this is how the phone comes. I don't know. I just find that is what is most useful for me. Starting with the top, I'm just going to quickly go through all my apps because I do have a lot. If there's anything that anybody has any questions on, feel free to leave them down below. Going in order, I have my... Messages, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, then I have my photos, my notes, my Starbucks app, and Hayes app, which is just a weather app. I've spoken about that in a previous favorites video. Then I have YouTube, Vine, Pinterest, Lockers. Again, just a quick little side note, all of my links for all of my media sites will be linked down below. So next is Blog Lovin'. It's just a blog reader. I have iBooks, which is what it is. It's for book reading. I have my Fanfic app, which if you've never read Fanfic in your entire life, you are a big fat liar and I don't care what you say. I have my Marvel app. It's just easy for reading my comics. I do buy a lot of comics through the app, so I just keep them all in one spot there. Then I have Pulse, which is a news reading platform. I highly recommend this to go and check that out. Then I have BuzzFeed. This is just a really funny app. And me and my friend Steph spend hours looking at quirky beach parties. Then I have Google, and I have Rain Rain. You can just pick from a different variety of sounds of rain and whatnot. On my next page, I have Tumblita, which is just a different Tumblr platform. I do prefer this over the actual app itself. I have my Countdown app, I have my Google Chrome, I have Mint. This is an excellent financing app. You can just sync up all of your different credit card accounts, banking accounts if you have investments, and it all just stays in one spot and you can see what you're spending, how much you owe, what's actually in your account, so I do really love this app. Then I have Beautylish. I love this for product reviews. I'm also trying to get back into using Beautylish again, so I kind of erased everything, started fresh. So definitely check that out in the down bar. I have my blogger for my blog. Facebook, that's for my personal page. I have StumbleUpon. I have LinkedIn, which is essentially a professional Facebook. I have Comic Seal, which I have a lot of digital comics that my friend Keith gives me, so they're all in here, and it's also a nice, simple PDF reader. Um, I have characters. This is more for symbols, where Emoticon is more like those cartoony kind of things. I also have my music folder, which just has remote, uh, Spotify, Pandora, my music, Sleep Machine, which is similar to Rain Rain, but you have more like ambient sounds available. And then I also have M Ringtones, which is just the user that I make my ringtones through. Then I have my DC app. So Embark DC is useful because you can put in any station that you're starting at and then put up where you want to end. And then that will show you the correct like kind of uh, lines to take, best parking. This just shows me all of the nearby parking garages and which ones are the cheapest. And if you've ever been to DC, you know that parking is an absolute nightmare. So this app does come in handy. I also have the Smart Metro. I'm not technically in DC yet, but I know I'm going to be needing a Metro card and you can load it up through the app this way. And then I have an offline metro map so I can just see the different lines until I start knowing where I'm going. I figure this can also be useful. On the bottom, I have a bunch of folders. So in this folder is kind of just my reference. So I have Google Maps, Marvel Events, my Package Pro, which is a package tracker. I highly recommend this one. This is the best one that I've found. I have Urban Spoon, Alfred, Grubhub. Those are all for like food places, takeout, all that other kind of stuff. Then I have Yelp. This is pretty much a broad version of the top three. And I have Dropbox and Google Drive, which are just kind of easy file sharing apps. I have Wells Fargo, Teachers Federal, and my Discover, which are all kind of my accounts, banking, credit card, all that other kind of stuff. I have Groupon, Living Social, Geo Coupons, which are just couponing apps. I don't really use them all that much, but sometimes they do come in handy. I also have the Amtrak schedule. This is just useful because this is going to be how I'm getting to and from home. 
home if I don't feel like driving. I have my period tracker. If you are a female, everyone should have this app. And then I have PayPal. Don't really use it, but it is good to have. This next folder is for all of my shopping. I just have a bunch of different shopping apps. Really nothing too spectacular there. I do like Fresh and Winella. It's almost like a Tumblr for shopping and you can want things. You can add them to lists and then you can also subsequently buy them. The next folder is research. I love real estate ever since I have kind of made the decision to move out on my own. I have been obsessed with looking at homes, real estate, so that's just what these apps are. And then on the next page is just a bunch of job apps. I am always looking at new jobs, new places to work, and especially being that I'm going to be in a new area. And then the last folder that I have on this page is just kind of the basic utilities that come with the phone and different things I don't really use. The only thing I actually downloaded was find my iPhone. And again, if you have an iPhone or any Apple device, I highly suggest downloading that. This last page is all of my photo editing apps. I'm really not gonna go into it. I have way too many photo editing apps. Feel free to join me in the judging, I slightly judge myself for this. Then the ones that are out of the folders um, are the ones that I do use more than the ones in the folders. And that is everything that is on my iPhone. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, I will see you on the next video.